Hello everyone, myself Dr. Debajan Mandal. Today we are going to perform Houghton test. This test has two parts and this test we use to differentiate that dizziness or vertigo that is coming from a vascular origin or it's coming from an articular origin. So in the first stage, patient should be in sitting position. Then we have to tell the patient to extend the arm in 90 degree position and hold this position for 20 to 30 seconds. Close your eyes. Then we have to watch if there is any movement is there on the hand or not or patient is not able to maintain this position or not. If patient is not able to maintain this position, that, right. means that is coming from an articular origin. If the movement is fine, then we have to go for a second stage. Extend your neck and rotate your head and hold this position for 20 to 30 seconds. Again, we have to watch that wavering of the arm is there or any movement in the arm is there or not. If patient is not able to maintain this position, that means that the problem is coming from a vascular origin. So this is all about Horton test. What are the 5 D's and 3 N's? These 5 D's and 3 N's are signs and symptoms of BBI, vertebro basilar insufficiency. 5 D's are diplopia means double vision, dizziness means vertigo, lightheadedness or giddiness, drop attack means a sudden fall without blackout or warning, dysarthria means unclear articulation of speech, dysphagia means difficulty in swallowing, 3 N's are nausea, a feeling of sickness with an inclination to vomit, numbness, lack of sensation, nystagmus means rapid involuntary movement of eyes. Vertebrobasilar insufficiency is a contraindication for cervical manipulation.